Blessings Aquarius, I hope you're doing really well. This is going to be your monthly reading for April 2015. My name is Stephanie Light and welcome to the Goddess Temple in the jungle of Bali. Hope you're having a wonderful April 2015 so far. This is going to be your reading. I'm going to be pulling four cards from the spirit deck and a beautiful goddess card for you for the month of April. See what's in store for you. So a card a week and then we'll flow the energies for the whole month. So, sending you love and light. Let's get started. I'm gonna shuffle the deck and connect to spirits, connect to the energies of the jungle and send you awesome energies of greenery to you. So, this is going to be an amazing month. And we also have a wonderful um, full moon lunar eclipse happening on the 4th of the 4th of 2015, this Saturday, which is in Libra. So really amazing energy lunar eclipse. So look out for that awesome air energy. I know that you are. All right, so let's pull for you. Awesome. Beautiful, okay. Excuse me. Okay, so our electricity went out when I stopped having the, uh, did the reading for, um, for Libra, so it's electrical, and you are an electrical being, so that's very interesting. So the first card you got here is Ace of Earth, so as prosperity begins. It's really like you set your roots, you set your foundation, here's your egg, right, so to say this little nut here, uh, as you are, can a little bit, you can be a little bit of a nut sometimes, but in a good way, an inventive way, you are an inventive being, don't take offense at that. Um, you're growing your tree, you really like set your roots, set your foundation. This abundance is coming to you, especially from the full moon, the energies, the fruits, the, you know, the Libra energy of abundance, fertility, luck, and love. It's really about, you have your firm foundation here, are two hands possibly, so you're making it with a partner. Something is coming together from a project. It is the ace pretty of coins, so it's really good energy and finances for you. Awesome. The second card you got is for the second week of April 2015 is Memories of Love. So I feel like you're putting things together. Maybe you're reviewing your past. Um, you're looking at some, it's not always Memories of Love. It could also have to do something of a memory from the past, from a childhood memory. This is the Six of Cups. So it's really about looking at all those things, looking at all those souls and really like nurturing them. Like you taking something and just like cupping it in and like looking at it, giving a little stir and gazing within your soul. So your soul is going to be doing some gazing, doing some candle gazing. If you want, light a candle and look at the flame. Like that's a really good meditation to do. So yeah, look at something from the past in the second week. It could be involving love. It could be involving uh, family and foundation. So maybe you're working on something with the foundation to really build that that tree strong, which is you. You are the tree. You're an abundant tree. Um, and you can grow many, many ways and do many, many multiple things. And you can always replant your tree wherever you want to go. So look at those things from the past and see how you can tie them in together. And then the third week is about destiny and fortune. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is really beautiful because you have prosperity begins and then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So some kind of destiny, maybe Maybe it's about putting all those things together from the past you and making them one. And it brings you fortune. It's like the wheel has turned, you have changed the cycle, and you're becoming more abundant as you do so. Really beautiful, that energy. At the end of the month, you have wisdom. So you're gaining wisdom from really growing your roots in your prosperity, in your foundation, within your family, within your relationships, looking at something from the past, maybe from yourself, because I know as an air sign relating to you that you have many multiple parts and you change and you have this constant amazing dynamic energy and thought that sometimes you, you don't always, or we air signs, we don't always look at the emotions all the time, but they are there. So something's for you to uncover about yourself within your past experiences to make you whole and make all those beings of you, all those multi-personalities, if you want to call it, some people think that's that. We have many parts to ourselves. Everyone does. We're all onions in some way. Somehow, some of us all have layers. That's okay. 
putting it all together and knowing that every part of you can be one of you all the time and you can choose who you want to be when you want to be it and it doesn't have to be another cup it can be one full wheel of everything put together like a big pie which will grow your abundance so putting all your dynamics all your talents together too putting them together and making them one and making them grow like a tree you know like a big tree we have some trees back there too <laughs> anyways and then through that you gain wisdom and through that you're going to communicate that with other people it's a spiritual experience as well like your soul is here to to um, express that to people, to be creative, to be a humanitarian, as you really are a humanitarian, you want to help others, maybe even doing some charity work at the end of the month. Some little dog, if you have a white dog, um, my sister does actually, that's kind of funny, she's an Aquarius. <laughs> Anyways, just saying. Um, some kind of wisdom, some kind of book, you could be passing on some information or getting some information from someone that symbolizes a priest and getting some kind of major opening, like, whoa, something's about to open, some kind of secret. Maybe you're bringing a secret to other people and they really want to know about it, and it's really exciting. It's a way that has shown you the way. I really feel it's going to be something very interesting. Uh, singing, songwriting, anything to do with the written word and expression, but it has something to do with spirituality. So really take a look at that this month. Um, the spiritual essence, and maybe it's a spiritual emotional connection for you that you really have to hone in first before you can share that with others. And that will lead you the destiny wheel of fortune. So I'm going to pull you one card of the goddess cards and see what energy lies there for you for the feminine divine. This is a very interesting month for Aquarius. I'm feeling that. So really abundance. Um, there we go. A little light. Abundance and soul opening that's what i'm really feeling soul opening abundant and um communication of something really sacred so sacred communication at the end of the month I like the energies to flow and the words to flow too so keywords are very important anyways let's pull the goddess card for your shakti energy feminine divine energy yes she's the creation of all Okay, two came up for you, so I have to tell you two. <laughs> Shakti came up. I swear I wasn't looking. Shakti came up. Divine energy. Be filled with divine energy. Use it to move forward in your life. So you're managing a lot of different things here, looks like it. That's amazing. And then you got the goddess of pros prophecy. I was going to say prosperity, but pro prophecy, prosperity, possibly. And this is Obi Jiban Bana. Obumba. Obumba. Yeah. Strange name. Oh, well, I'm sure you enjoy that. Through thought, no, through is a good, though it is a good desire, sometimes it is better to possess contentment. So it's about being content where you're at, but some kind of pros, I think has to do with the prophecy. You are sharing prophecy major stuff that people want to hear about, which is really amazing. So some kind of sacred pro prophecy and a feminine energy, a Shakti, which is, it's about flowing movement and really allowing that movement to happen. And you are really good with movement. So the movement energy, especially with the wheel, is going to be taking you to those places. Maybe you'll be going, you'll be going somewhere. But yeah, the prophecy... And you're gonna you're gonna know the energy. It's very earthed prophecy contentment. So you're feeling content with the earth energy and with the spiritual energy. So it's spiritually earthed energy for you in the feminine essence of your soul talking to you. That's pretty intense. I hope you enjoyed that reading. That's very good. I will see you tomorrow if you want to check out my daily readings, my weekly readings, and also my monthly readings and my moon sign, my moon readings for the new moon and the full moon. So enjoy your energy shift here, Aquarius. I will be back very soon if you'd like to get in touch for a reading. My links are below. Check out my Facebook, like it, and I hope to hear from you there. Namaste and bless from the jungle. Divine Soul.